Good evening. Heartbreak felt all across the city. A police officer and veteran honored and remembered here in Nashville. Metro officer John Anderson lost his life July 4th when a car slammed into his patrol car. We have team coverage tonight of the funeral, the procession, and what's next for the team charged in his death. We begin now with Matthew Torres. And Matthew, it was a moving service. And Vicki, while it was a somber feeling seeing the casket of Officer John Anderson being brought in and out of the church, it was also a powerful moment. The officer was 28 years old when he died in a wreck on 4th of July, but today proved his short life is leaving a lasting legacy. When I found out it was him, um, it took about 20, 30 minutes for it to sink in. And, and I, 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 was a, I was an emotional wreck. When I found out it was Anderson. End of watch, Thursday, July 4th, 2019, at 0305 hours. He was my brother. There are good officers out there. He was one of the good ones. Deanna Wilson was at the visitation this morning to pay her respects. She works for criminal courts on the same overnight shift as Anderson did and called him her redheaded brother, who she always laughed with. That was one of countless stories we heard today as dozens of law enforcement officials and family and friends filled Cornerstone Church for a celebration of life service. And what a life he lived, rescuing people as an officer and pursuing many talents from playing hockey, taking flying lessons and playing music. It was also a touching moment seeing the drill and ceremony team the very same team he played bagpipes for. Today, we heard from his younger brother who called him by Jay. He says while they had opposite personalities, Jay was eventually someone he looked up to. John was so knowledgeable that he would talk your ear off, explaining the most minute detail of something, as you've heard. In the moment, it would irritate you. But looking back, I would give anything to have one more conversation with my brother. <laughs> And I just want to let him know that my ears are wide open for my, for my brother and that I love him. And Godspeed until, until we meet again. One other officer says the biggest lesson he learned from Anderson was to care and love unconditionally despite someone's background. He was also excited to be a father now leaving behind his 18-month-old son, Gavin. 